Today, I will be demonstrating three ways we can record our own videos in QuickTime Player. The first way is using a built-in camera. If we come up to File in the menu bar and from the drop-down menu select New Movie Recording, as you can see, the preview window has opened and at this point we're not recording. So let's first get into the settings by clicking this down arrow here. As you can see, I've got my camera selection, microphone selection and quality. At this point, I'm happy with that and there's not much to change, so we'll leave that. And below we have the volume meter. This lets you know how loud or quiet you are. Over here, this volume slider is for, for my playback. So allow me to hear myself while I'm speaking. I'll only use this feature if I'm wearing headphones because if I lift it now, you will hear feedback. So I recommend keeping that low unless you're wearing headphones. Now that we're set up here and I'm happy, I'm just going to push record in the center and say, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you notice that the record button has become a stop button. So to finish this, I just press here. So once you press stop, what you just recorded will automatically open. So let's play it to see and say, I hope you enjoy this video. And if you notice that the record button has become a stop button. So to finish this, I just press here. Let's come up to file in the menu bar and from the drop down menu, we have the options to export at these different resolutions, share across these different platforms, or what we're going to do now is create a file by selecting save. This window will appear where we need to name our file. So let's go with quick. My desktop has already been selected as the save location. So let's just hit save. Let's close this window and open the video file that was just created on my desktop by double clicking it. And as you can see, I now have my video with not the most flattering thumbnail. The second way is by recording the screen of an attached phone. So let's come back up to file in the menu bar and from the drop down menu, select new movie recording. As you can see, QuickTime has recognized my phone as an input device and automatically opened with it. If I scroll to the right and the left, you can see the image is mirroring my actions. So let's look at settings. In the camera section, iPhone is selected. Now, in the audio section, I have iPhone selected as well. However, if you wanted to use your iPhone screen, but narrate over what you are recording, then you would need to reselect internal mic here. Now that's done. Let's open an app and record something. Today, I'm going to choose GarageBand. As you can see, our resolution has changed from portrait to landscape to accommodate the layout. And this will happen in all apps, so don't worry about having to watch videos or work on a squashed screen. So here, we have a bunch of preset loops. If I play one, notice that we won't hear anything. That's because we have to lift the playback volume here. Because we are using sounds coming internally from the iPhone, we don't have to worry about feedback, so can use this freely without headphones. So now I'm set up, let's record a loop of this by pushing record. Once you press stop, what you just recorded will automatically open. Now, I don't want to save this as a video, I just want the audio. So, if I come up to file in the menu bar and from the drop down menu go to export, I'm able to select audio only. This window will appear where we need to name our file. Let's go with loop. Desktop has already been selected as my location, so I'll just leave that and hit save. Now, let's close this window. Next, you will be asked if you wanted to save this file. As I've already exported what I wanted to, I don't need to save anything, so we'll just hit delete and get rid of this. So now that's done, let's listen to the file we just created on the desktop by clicking the file and hitting the spacebar.
Sounds good to me. So the third and last way we can record in QuickTime Player is by using an external camera and sound card. So let's come back up to File in the menu bar and from the drop down menu select New Movie Recording. Your built in camera should automatically open again, but for the sound recording of this tutorial, my camera is turned off. Now, let's go into our settings and from the camera section, I'm going to select my camera here. And then back into settings and select my audio device. As you can see, I have a lot of options as my external camera has a built in mic and so does the DJ controller, but the input I want is my sound card here. Because I'm using the speakers in my room to monitor the sound, I will leave the playback level down. Now I'm happy, I just press record. Once you press stop, what you just recorded will automatically open. So let's play it to see. Looks good. So let's save it by coming up to file in the menu bar and from the drop down menu this time we will hit close so I can show you how QuickTime will give you one last chance to save your work in case you didn't mean to do that. This window will appear for us to name our file. So let's call this scratch. The desktop has already been automatically selected as the location so I'll leave that as it is and just hit save. Let's now open the video that's just been created on my desktop by double clicking it. And there you have it. So that was three ways to record video files in QuickTime. Check out the next video where I will show you two ways you can record audio in QuickTime.